The International Karate Championships are being held in Chicago this Sunday, and the people here in the Imperial Academy of Fighting Arts are getting ready for it. The man behind the championships is Mr. John Keehan. Well, Mr. Keehan, what's karate all about, anyway? Well, karate is an oriental means of self-defense, which is now used as a sport. Is it very popular in the United States? Well, it's very popular, especially here in Chicago, which is about the uh, strongest concentration of karate in this country. Why? What is the attraction of this kind of thing? Well, you have all of the uh, same aspects that you have in boxing, but it's a lot faster and uh, a lot more effective. The one boy here is Raymond Cooper. He's the national karate champion. He's the one on the left now. That's correct. <laughs> now, the screaming, this is uh, to increase power, to try to frighten your opponent and give added strength to your techniques. Does it work? Yes, very effectively. The Marines have been using this in the Army for quite a few years. Well, how seriously can you injure someone just with your hands or your feet? Well, you can very easily kill someone if you know how to hit them and where to hit them. This is the whole thing. The, uh, the trained over the untrained. As you can see, there are quite a few blows that have been slipped in here, kicks and punches, and you can very definitely see that they could have been extended and caused quite a bit of damage to the opponent. What about this business of breaking uh, bricks and boards with your bare hands and your bare feet? What's that all about? Well, that is strictly, uh, shall we say, a showmanship type of uh, aspect of karate that uh, shows the power or the uh, strength you know, that can be contained within the human body. Could we see some of that? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, here we have uh, Douglas Dwyer. He's one of my head instructors here. And he's going to demonstrate the breaking of hard objects, which happens to be, you know, common house face brick. Is there a trick to this, Doug? No, there's no real trick to the art itself. It's developed through speed, form, and power. It's like that of an air hammer going into concrete, 90 or 100 pounds behind a point of it. That's how it's broken, by impact. Does it work every time? No, it doesn't work every time. You can miss by just a quarter of an inch to a half inch on something this heavy. Let's see how it works. There they went. Excuse me, miss. What's your name? Sharon Newman. Well, how did you get interested in this? Well, I went to the World Karate Tournament last year, and it appealed to me. It's a self-defense, and I would li work in a rough neighborhood. It seemed the best thing to take up. You mean they teach you how to, uh, how to defend yourself, muggers, that kind of thing? Oh, yes, definitely. Well, how does it work? Could you give us an example? Surely. The moral of this story, Walter, seems to be don't mess around with students of the Imperial Academy of Fighting Arts. This is CBS News correspondent Hughes Rudd <coughs> in Chicago. Same, uh, same techniques you use in uh, hey, street hey. fighting if someone comes after you? Or? Yes, well, they're very similar, but the self-defense uh, forms are actually made specifically for uh, street fighting and things like that. This is more of a sport aspect, but it could be used in the street. Although the World Championship karate matches are being held in Chicago this Sunday, karate is not the only form of the martial arts on display. This, for instance, is something quite different. Excuse me, sir. Ex excuse me. What, uh, what is your name? I'm Dr. Evan Bartazzi. Uh, what do you call this, uh, this form of uh, fighting or whatever it is? This is Aikido. It's, uh, it's one of the newest forms of martial arts. It has originated in Japan some 50 years ago, and the originator is Master Uyashiba. What is the, the Aikido itself looks like? In Aikido, either I have to catch the attack before it gathers momentum, and this is an entering throw, or I have to let the attack flow by and lead my opponent until I throw him. In both cases, the principle of non-resistance is emphasized. 
I'll show you both techniques, an entering technique and a turning technique. I have stopped. I have stopped him uh, as his uh, attack was gathering momentum up there. Looked like an old-fashioned push. Yes, that's what it is, but at the right time. This is a turning technique, and I'd like to demonstrate the uh, the fact that. It does not, I never stop his blow. I let it flow by, and then on his reaction, I throw him back as a pendulum. It looks almost like a dance rather than a fight. Well, in Aikido, what happens if somebody reaches out for you to go, ah, oh, ah. Uh, CBS News correspondent, huge rut in Chicago. What I do for a living? 